Just Mercy is more than just a movie. It's based on a true story of redemption and innocence about death row inmate Walter McMillan with Oscar-winning actors Jamie Foxx, Brie Larson, and Black Panther's Michael B. Jordan in the mix. Join Rick Hong as he talks to director Dustin Daniel Cretton on why this movie was so important for him to bring to the screen. It is ordered, adjudged, and decreed that Walter McMillan is to face death by electrocution. It's my dad, sir. Sit down, young man. John, I want you to sit down now. He ain't do nothing wrong. Please, Judge, hold on one second. I won't say it again. Sit down. Not if you're going to kill my dad for no reason. You killing my family, sir, you! They convicted an innocent man. I was always taught to fight for the people who need the help the most. You don't know what it is down here. They ain't got to have no evidence. How many of you all were with Walter that morning? You ain't quit, Miss. No, sir. We all with you. So, sir, I wanted to tell you congratulations. Powerful film. I wanted to know, should there be a disclaimer? People should take a box of Kleenex before watching the movie? <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I don't know, maybe. I mean, yes, there there have been some tears in this movie, for sure. How is it prepping for this film? Because you have, you know, a book that it's based on, there's also people that you can reference, and also there's even national news coverage which you incorporated into the film. Um, we used all of it, but I, you know, I think that the, the biggest tool that we had for preparing for this movie was Brian Stevenson himself. I think it's rare that you get to make a movie about a person uh, whose whose life and work um, is still just as uh, relevant right now as it was 30 years ago. Um, not only because the subject of incarceration and and the the, the system that we're trying to you know, make better in this country um, is is in a is it is in a very similar place than it was 30 years ago. Um, but we also have Brian Stevenson still doing the same work right now, still arguing to the Supreme Court about um, the, the next thing that will hopefully make this country a little, uh, a little better for people who are the most vulnerable here. The time period for this was like the late 80s, 90s. It's 2019, all still relevant. I was curious like what stuck out in your mind or something that you learned by taking on this movie. I mean, the biggest thing that I learned, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I often feel very overwhelmed by the amount of problems that we have going on um, in, in the world. And sometimes it, it feels like there's just so much, it feels paralyzing. And I, I have no idea even what I could possibly do to make anything better. Um, the, the biggest thing that I've learned about being around Brian is that he, his life and his work proves that one person can actually make a difference. Um, and, you know, he, he spends his entire, his entire, every day is spent with people who are the most vulnerable in our society whose lives have been often completely ruined by an unfair system. And you would think that he would go through every day just becoming more and more cynical, um, but he doesn't. He actually becomes more and more hopeful. And his hope is connected to strategy and hard work, and, and that's what pushes him to actually do amazing things to change this country for the better. So in the film, you have one of your favorites, Oscar winner Brie Larson, you have Oscar winner Jamie Foxx, and future Oscar winner Michael B. Jordan. So does it make it easier to take on the film knowing that you'll get the performances that you need to tell the story? Definitely. I mean, these are all incredible actors who are so amazing at their craft. Um, the, they also are incredible human beings. So you, what you see when you watch this movie are a combination of them, you know, showing you what they can do as performers. Uh, but what you don't see is off screen. The, the way that they contributed to this movie uh, was invaluable. Um, the way that they helped create an environment that was 
constantly talking about the, the, the subject matter that you see on screen all, all helped elevate every performance in the movie. Do you have is like a certain wave of emotion that you feel when you actually met some of these people that, you know, like you're telling their story? Yeah, I mean, I, I met Anthony Ray Hinton, who was on death row for 30 years for a crime he didn't commit. And I got to sit with him while we were writing the script. And he actually knew Walter McMillan, um, played, played by Jamie Foxx. Um, and hearing, hearing his story firsthand through an incredible sense of humor um, and, and hearing him crack jokes about the times that he was sitting on death row for 30 years, just really, I mean, humor is humanity, you know, and when you see somebody being able to joke through something as horrendous as that, it, it was really moving to me. Um, and he, I, 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 I know he watched the movie and felt really connected to it. Nothing wow. makes me happier. That's amazing. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. Ah, thank it's a you. It's pleasure. We want you. We all want you. Your life is still meaningful, and I'm going to do everything possible to keep them from taking it.